We've got a little bit of news about Holger Rune going into this Six King Slam, which is happening in a couple of days' time. He is part of that exhibition, along with Medvedev, Sinner, Elkaraz, Djokovic, and Nadal. He's sort of the odd one out. I think a lot of people will say that, but he's actually talking about his coaches and who he's actually appointed as his coach going into the next part of his season. This is what Rune had to say about rehiring his childhood coach, Lars Christensen, saying, I'm happy to work with Lars again. We have known each other for many years and have developed our very own tennis language together. During the past month, I've trained a few times with Lars when I've been in Denmark, and it has, among other things, had a really good effect on my serve. So there you have it. He's bringing in Lars Christensen again is Rune. Of course, he's had this on and off again relationship with coaches, especially Patrick Moritoglu, who's now coaching Naomi Osaka, so he's not coming back. He was supposed to have Becker in his camp this year, but of course that didn't happen. Severin Luthi was also linked to Runa. That fell apart, so let's see if Runa can get some stability, because of course he is, I guess, the third member of the big three that people like to call with Sinner, Alcaraz, and Runa. He's a lot further behind those two guys. Let me know down the course below. When do you think Runa's going to start to be a contender at Slam. He has been thereabouts, a couple of quarterfinals here and there, but he hasn't really been in that semi-final quarter, uh, semi-final final lineup just yet. And he has been as high in four in the world. So it's not like he hasn't been a, a good player over the years, but he is still the youngest of that bunch as well. I think he's just a little bit younger than Elkraz or around the same age. So let's see whether or not this changes Runa's results, but Runa bringing back his childhood coach to hopefully get those results.